Hi there, tuning your rifle and looking for the highest level of accuracy possible relies on precision. Therefore, when you're hunting for that ultimate tune for your rifle, precision is key and therefore there are a few little tools on the market that can help you out. For instance, you're setting up your regulated pressure and you exactly want to know till the last bar how high you have set it, how fast your regulator is recovering and all kinds of those things. Therefore, you need a very good, reliable and accurate gauge. And this guy right here is the perfect choice for you. This is the FX Keller digital manometer gauge made by FX Air Guns. Probably the most accurate and only gauge you'll ever use. Right, every FX Air Guns these days already comes equipped with a very nice and accurate gauge. I'm talking about the analog Wiga gauges we nowadays have standard on all of our rifles. Those gauges will suit most of the shooters out there to set up their tunes and all of other needs they have. But if you're just looking for that little bit of extra, that little bit of extra accuracy, you can always opt to install one of these. This is the FX Keller Digital Manometer Gauge by FX Air Guns, made by the Swiss company Keller. Super accurate, super reliable gauges, very easy to use, no cluttered menus with a ton of options you anyway don't need, uh, super long lasting battery life, no messing around with charging cables, the battery lasts you very long, easy to replace even when it's installed on your rifle itself. So probably the best and the only gauge you will ever use from now on. In the next clip, we'll have a brief overview of the Keller gauge itself. And afterwards, we'll be installing it on my FX Dynamic right here, which is in desperate need of a very accurate gauge to hunt for that perfect tune for this rifle. And if you're a little bit of a geek like me and you always want your gauges to be pointed upright, keep on watching because I've got a little trick for you as well. Let's get started. All right. So the FX Keller gauge comes in a nice white box like this with a QR code on the side if you want to find out a little bit more information about it. And at the front, for those interested, we have a part number as well, which is 19773C. So you can order it at your dealers if they don't have it in stock already. The FX Keller gauge, when taking it out of the box, looks like this, a very nice and shiny gauge with a 1.8 connection at the bottom, which suits every air gun or most of the air guns out there. So even if you don't have an FX air guns, you can still use this very nice and accurate FX Keller gauge on all of your rifles. Looking at the front, you see the display face, which looks a little bit different than some other ones on the market, but there's a very good reason for this, because it's a very low power consumption display that can last you a long time. It also doesn't have any glare on this display, so it's good to use in every weather condition without any distractions or reflections uh, throwing back at you. The display at the bottom has just one big button, and with the press on it, it turns on, and you can see your bar readings, one more press, you come to your shot count, and with a long press, it turns back off to save the battery life on this one. No uh, other distractions, very easy to use gauge, and it just does what it uh, has to do very accurately as well. The pressure range on this one is from zero to 250 bar, so it's good for every regulator uh, uses you might need it for. Talking a little bit about the battery, the battery life is so good on this one that it can last you when it's turned off in this condition for 10 years and when it's put on constantly for one year. So everyday use you get about 3 years of battery life out of it. And all this happens on one little cell battery that is very easy to replace. Just push on the black part on the bottom, which slides out the one part from the top, Take it out and there is your battery. Very easy to replace, small battery life, which is super impressive for this small button battery. Simply put your new one in, put it back on, the display turns on and you're good to go for another three years. Very impressive, this battery life on this one. No clutter with cables, nothing else. Long press on the bottom to turn it off and that's it. So let's get one installed on the Dynamic. Right, so before you do any work on your air rifle, always make sure it is safe to work on, so it is not cocked, there are no pellets in the breech, and it has been put on safe. Then we're going to release on this dynamic the bottle at the back, so we can drain the air in the block itself, before draining, of course, all the air out of the plenum. Simply untwist the bottle. And with the back bottle removed, we can see there is no any air anymore in the block itself because the air source is gone, but we still have a lot of pressure in our plenum. So that's what we're going to release right now. 
to release the air in the plenum, simply the regulator right here. Take your two and a half millimeter and just gently turn it counterclockwise till you hear all the air coming out from the back. Then once all the air is removed, it's a good practice to take your regulator, put it a quarter of a turn clockwise again, and then afterwards when you repressurize it, you can always bring the regulator pressure back up. Much more gentle on the regulator to do it this way than to go against the pressure on the regulator as well. With all the pressure out of the gun, we can verify on the gauges that both of them read zero and the entire system is empty. And now you can simply unscrew your gauges like this. They normally have a cover on this. Sometimes it's hard to remove. I've removed already this one for the video to speed everything up just a little bit. This is the Wicca gauge, very accurate as well, but as you can see, analog, and we'd like to go for that very fine detail and therefore swap it out for the FX Keller. And then now for the little tip that I have for you. Sometimes if you screw in your gauges, they don't align straight. Let me see how this one orients when screwing all the way in. This one will orient just fine if I can see like this. But sometimes you can't put them exactly the way you want. And therefore, this always bugs me and there is a little trick for this. Underneath these gauges, there is an X-ring just like this. This X-ring seals against the bottom of your gauge and those little fans on the side fan outwards when uh, pressure is applied and therefore seal it very nicely. But if this, gauge, this one is sitting a little bit too deep, the orientation of your gauge is not perfect. Therefore, sometimes a little trick for me is to take an O-ring that has exactly the same size as the groove underneath, put it underneath like this into your gun, raising that X-ring just a little bit upwards and therefore probably half a rotation or something can be covered and then align your gauge perfectly. Little tip for you if you want your gauges to align straight. Therefore, let's screw this one back in as it was already aligning perfectly, like so. You don't have to crank down on them as the X-ring that I showed you will uh, fill up the voids between the gauge and the grooves on the side or the threads and therefore will seal itself. If you crank too much down on it and you crush that X-ring too much, it will not seal properly and then cause a leak. So let's make sure they're aligned perfectly and straight, both of them, just like this, looking nice. We can reapply pressure to our rifle. So we have our bottle. And what I always like to do is to cock the rifle when we apply pressure to it again. Screw that bottle on. Let the whole system charge. At this point, we can decock it again. Simply hold your cocking lever, pull the trigger, release the lever, and you're back. Now, let's see the gauge itself. It's reading about 117 bar on the regulator and 117 bar on my uh, uh, bottle pressure. So let's fill it up really quickly and set our gauge back to 130. Right, so our filled up to about 220, 225 bar. Regulator reading 121 bar to one bar accurate. So let's take my Allen key and raise it back up to 130. Gently you can see it goes up one bar increments, super precise, 129, 130, exactly where I need to be. Right guys, and that's it. That's how to install the FX Keller gauge onto your FX Dynamic. Nothing special to it, just takes a few minutes and now you can enjoy yourself a little bit more accuracy while on the hunt for that perfect tune. If there is any question regarding the gauge itself or the installation process, 
please don't hesitate to put in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you back in the next one. Bye.